Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Guy. I serve as coordinator of alumni reunions and special events at the UNC General Alumni Association. Today, we're gonna be spreading a little bit of holiday cheer um, by making a Q-tip Ramses or Ramses Jr. Um, I've got a handy dandy instruction book um, or instruction guide that you can download um, to accompany this video but just wanted to give you a general uh, run through as to how you make this uh, holiday Ramsey's ornament, or you could also use this as a, a place card holder, depending on how you set it up. And so let's jump right in and get started. So the first thing we'll talk about uh, some of the supplies. The first thing we'll do is talk about some of the supplies you'll need. Um, you're definitely gonna want a hot glue gun you're definitely gonna need extra glue sticks. I use quite a bit of glue um, for this particular project. Um, you'll need about 50 Q-tips. And so you'll see, I've already cut the ends off of them because that's what we're gonna be using to make the ram, but you'll need about 50 to get started, 50 whole Q-tips, and then um, save yourself some time by maybe soliciting a friend or um, a spouse or a child um, it, who is okay with using scissors um, to help you cut the tips off of these. Because I'd say that's probably the most tedious task for this, um, for this project is just getting all of these little pieces cut off um, and they probably will fly around your kitchen or wherever you are doing this craft. So um, that's just a little tip. Um, you're also gonna want some pipe cleaners. I've got a light blue pipe cleaner. Um, and then I've also got some gold ones or like a yellow color. Um, you, you're welcome to use either one. If you're making RJ, you'd want to use light blue, right? That's Ramsey's Jr. If you're doing Ramsey's, you'll want to use the yellow. And then also you'll want clothespins. This is going to be for your legs, for the Ram's legs. Um, you'll want cardboard. So I've got this sheet here. Um, where I've already cut out, and I'll go over this as well, but I've already cut this little shape out, this oval shape, and I just cut it out of a random piece of cardboard. Just use whatever you have at home. I know a lot of people have um, lots of Amazon Prime boxes and things like that being uh, dropped off at their house right now, so feel free to just grab whatever you have. And um, also a pink crayon. Um, that's You're going to use that at some point in this tutorial. You'll want some felt, white felt. You'll also, um, yes, you'll want white felt. Excuse me. You don't need the yellow uh, felt for this particular project. That's for another one. Um, and then you'll want some string. So you're going to use this uh, at some point as well. And a staple gun. If you are going to use this as an ornament, this is what the string is for. You'll want a staple gun as well. And I think that's it. Oh, the one other thing you'll want is, um, I've already cut out the face from this little cutout sheet, but you can either choose to freehand your Ramsey's face on a piece of paper and cut that out um, on your own, or I've already got it drawn for you on this little um, sheet here. So you could also just cut that out and um, glue it to the cardboard when we get to that step. All right, so let's get started on making the ram. So step one, you're gonna start again by cutting out um, all of the pieces on the guide sheet, on the cutout sheet if you need it. Um, and so I would recommend starting out by cutting all of those out. Um, I think I cut out the two main pieces that I really need for this video. I forgot to cut out one, so I'm gonna do that really quick, which is this little oval, because I am gonna wanna glue that to the cardboard oval, which is gonna serve as the ram's uh, body before we start um, adding on all of the Q-tips. So um, you wanna cut that piece out. And again, definitely go ahead and cut out that face if you think you're gonna need that. And so the next thing you do is you can use this oval cutout to trace um, the oval shape for your cardboard and then go ahead and cut that cardboard piece out. And then we're gonna wanna glue that or tape it, um, whichever works for you. So I've got a little bit of hot glue here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue that down. I'm running out of glue already. Just put that in there. All right, so let's get that glued down. All right, I 
that's pretty much glued down. And then I am gonna need to just trim off the edges here just a little bit. I think I initially freehanded this oval uh, piece of cardboard <laughs> prior to starting the video, that's okay. So I'm just gonna make sure it looks a little bit neater. And actually, I'm just being um, a little bit of a perfectionist here to get it right. But um, when we start gluing down the Q-tips, I'm actually going to be hiding all of this anyway. So I probably didn't really need to do that, but that's okay. All right. So then the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and start gluing on all these Q-tips. Um, this is going to take a while, um, but I promise you to get the end result of this cute little ram. It's so worth it. So I'm just going to show you a few of these. Um, because again, I've already got this ramp made. My glue gun is not one to cooperate. There we go. I'm gonna glue down a few of these in rows just so you can see what it is that you're trying to accomplish here. So you start by taking one Q-tip end and gluing it down. And then I've got like a little line of glue and I'm just gonna keep going around around and hot glue as you know it does dry pretty quickly so I'm just starting out with a few at a time and now I'm ready to add on a little additional glue let's get the top section of the ram So you can see, I'm just going to continue going around the rim, the perimeter. And again, what you're trying to do is make the body. Um, it's really all you're doing is making the body, trying to get the look of Ramsey's fur or RJ's fur if you're making RJ. The nice wool coat that they wear. I'm going to keep going around in a circle. And so I think you get the point. So eventually I'll cover this entire, um, the entire perimeter of it. And so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like to just start the second layer. So if I start the second layer on this, so again, we're gonna pretend like I've already done the bottom section. If I can do it quick enough, I might go ahead and add it, but for the sake of time and not uh, getting any extra Zoom fatigue, I think some people already have enough of that. <laughs> um, for the sake of time, I am gonna go ahead and start overlapping these. And you can see, again, I'm working as quickly as I possibly can because this hot glue does dry. But the end goal is to cover this entire piece of cardboard with these Q-tips in a pattern that looks sort of, you know, wooly um, to get that nice uh, ram coat look using those Q-tips. Working as quickly as I can without burning my fingers. So you can see as I add more and more of the Q-tips, um, the coat will start getting more and more fluffy. So that's sort of the goal there. So I'll go ahead and add on some additional. All right, now I'm just going ahead and putting the glue all over and let's just see how much I can do before that dries. It's truly a test of time for me. I'm just gonna keep going around. If you've got um, someone in your home, again, if you, you could do this by yourself, but you could also um, get your kids involved in this if you've got children. Um, I'm actually recording this video at night, so it's a little bit quieter in my house, but um, I previously, when I made this ram, all four of uh, our daughters were running around the house and they actually were very helpful for picking up any spare Q-tips that were flying around the kitchen as I cut them all off. <laughs> um, 
So this is definitely something they can get involved in or involved with if you're looking for something to keep them busy. I promise you this is a great activity to get them involved in some form or fashion. Maybe not with the hot glue gun again, unless your child is old enough to do that if you're working with a child to do this. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going in a pattern here. And again, you can make this as perfect looking as you want or not. Um, I mean, it all just depends on how, um, how intricate you want this pattern or how precise you want this pattern to be rather to get this wooly look. So I'm gonna continue to glue these. All right, I think I've almost got this covered enough for the sake of the video. <laughs> I'm gonna add another glue stick. So I'm going through almost glue stick number two. So I told you, you definitely wanna make sure you've got quite a few glue sticks on hand for this. Definitely quite a few if you're gonna make more than one of these. You wanna have several glue sticks on hand. Um, just a little side note, I'm sure that you could also use just regular like school glue, like the, you know, just regular white glue if you want it for this. Um, but I think that if you were to use that, so if that's all you have, like if you don't have a hot glue gun, I think that you could use that kind of glue. But just know that you probably would have to let things sit and dry for a lot longer before you start building on um, additional pieces to this, like the head and the legs and that sort of thing. You probably just want things to dry a little bit longer. All right, I think I've almost got this down. Perfect. So I think my um, 50 Q-tips, to give you about a hundred tips once you cut the ends off of both sides with a little bit of an estimate, but so far I think I've used practically all of them. Um, and that's not with, uh, that's without being very precise with this pattern. So I definitely recommend having that <laughs> um, amount on hand because I'm going pretty quickly here and definitely not being quite as detailed as I was when I made uh, my initial sample for this, but um, I'm using up practically all of these already. Okay, and I will be a little bit neater for the final ones. Any of the Q-tips that are gonna be showing, like uh, the ram's head is gonna cover part of this. So you wouldn't have to worry that much about the Q-tips on that side, but I think that you probably would wanna be pretty neat on the parts that are going to show, okay? All right, I think that is good. Good enough. All right, so you can see now we've got our Q-tip body. All right, so the next step is to, again, I've already cut this guy out, but you'll want to trace, um, or you can freehand it if you'd like, but I've already got the face. I'm doing Ramsey's, so I've already got the face for Ramsey's cut out and um, the sheet of paper anyway, and I've already got the cardboard cut out as well for that. Um, and then I've already glued this down, so that's what you'll want to do next, okay? So glue that. Um, feel free if you need, if you want to be very detailed, cut around the edges. I did that earlier just to get any excess cardboard off. I just want this to line up really nicely. So then once you've done that, the next step is to make the ears. And so I've got, I'm trying to see where this other piece went. That's okay. I'll just show you how I did this. So grab a piece of felt and if you want, grab this is your white felt you're gonna use. So we're making the ears. So you can, I just freehanded this, but if you need to just see a sample of what the ears should look like, just refer to the guide, um, this little cutout guide. All right, 
So really, you don't really need to cut those out um, because again, you're really just gonna cut those little shapes out of the felt. And um, so again, personally, I would just freehand this, um, but if you need to use a cutout guide, feel free to. Um, but you're just gonna cut these little pieces. So I'm gonna cut one just to show you, you see that? All right, and then I've got a light pink crayon. We have tons of crayons in my house, <laughs> um, in our home. So I've got, got a light pink crayon and I'm just gonna, you can see I'm coloring just a little piece here to make the ears. So you can see there's a little pink there. So I'm gonna do that for both ears just to give him, give Ramses a little more color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot glue and just glue one little dot here on the end and place that right on one side of his head. And then I'm gonna grab the other one and do the same thing on the other side. So you can see Ramsey has ears now. So then the next thing we'll do is I've got my yellow pipe cleaners. I've already cut these down to size. Um, I like the horns to be just a bit, little bit longer, at least the pipe cleaner would be just a little bit long. This is about two inches long um, so that it gives me enough to work with to bend this into a horn shape. So, I'm going to bend this into a shape that I like, kind of, you know, Ramsey's horns or ram horns are kind of curled at the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that. You can adjust the horns later if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and take that and glue one horn to one side. And let's glue the other to the other side. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and let's shape these. If you can shape them before you stick them, that might be a good idea, especially if you're trying to rush through this. But if you're taking your time, just let it dry and then you can shape it. Shape, there's one ear, or one horn rather. And here's the other. All right, great. So. We'll do more and more like Ramsey's. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and glue the body or the head, excuse me, to the body. So you kind of want to position this kind of let me get the right angle for the camera. I'm gonna position this like maybe like so. That looks good. And use your hot glue for that. You might want to come in behind it with a little additional hot glue just to make sure it's really secured down. All right, good. Here's that. And one little note um, the paper that I use to print the cutout guide is just regular printer paper. If you have cardstock, feel free to just use white cardstock and just run that through your printer for the cutouts. Um, I recommend doing that if you really want to just make sure that um, you've got really good thickness here. But again, I mean, this is this is fine. So um, seems to me that the printer paper gets a little bit wrinkly a little bit easier. But um, again, if you don't have cardstock laying around, feel free to just use the printer paper. That's okay. Okay. All right. So then the next thing we're going to do is glue on the legs. So for the legs, you just got some miniature clothespins. Pick these up at Michael's or AC Moore or any other craft store. You might even find them at Target or Walmart or the dollar store. Anywhere you want to find these. And then I'm just going to glue one here and another over here. 
And you'll note that in the instruction guide, um, I mention that if you want to use this RAM as a place card holder, you're probably gonna want to maybe like use just cardstock for the entire body. So instead of cardboard, anywhere where you see instructions on the cardboard, uh, I mean, excuse me, on the, um, anywhere you see instructions for cardboard <laughs> on the instruction sheet, you would just wanna replace that with cardstock, okay? Um, just because I think the cardboard weighs this down a little bit and will make it tip over, okay? All right, so, the next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of Tar Heel Flare, right, from Carolina Flare. We're going to give Ramsey the bow tie. So I've got some Carolina blue ribbon. I just took my fabric scissors. I'm going to make a little bow. And I've experimented with a couple of different ribbons, thick ones um, like this, and I have a thinner ribbon as well. Use whatever you have or whichever you prefer. I tend to like this big thick ribbon for this particular ram. Although the thinner one might be a little bit easier to tie into a ribbon or into a bow rather, but again, just use what you'd like. Get that little bow, little tug there. So, All right, and then I'm gonna just cut off any excess fabric. And now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this bow down. And so I want to position this. For me, I want Ramsey's to have a bow tie. So I'm going to position this here. But you could also come up here if you'd like, if you'd rather do that. And just add a little accent piece up top. However you want to do it. It's up to you. Again, I like the bow tie look. So there's that. Now Ramsey's has a bow tie. And so at this point, again, if you've made this as a place card holder, you're done. And hopefully he'll stand up. Again, I might also recommend for using this as a place card holder that your clothespins be just a little bit bigger, just again, to stand up to all the weight of the Q-tips and whatever medium you're using to glue the Q-tips onto. Otherwise, if you're using this as an ornament, we're gonna take this piece of string. So it's just some string I actually have laying around at my house. Um, and I'm just going to make a little loop, tie a little knot on the end of it. And then I'm going to come in with a staple gun and I'm going to make this way flat, right? So that I can staple this on to the back. So I'm just going to come here. Be careful, watch your fingers if you do this or when you do this. But just give it one staple here. And one staple at the top. And now we've got an ornament. Look at that. Um, I would say if you want to, um, some people like their ornaments to be viewed from the back as well. If you want it to do that, then you could, by all means, come in before you put these on here, before you put these little clothespins on here. And you could put a white piece of cardstock to fill in this um, brown part here and then just put additional q-tips that way it looks like his entire body is covered but if you're like me this is well enough <laughs> so leave well enough alone I would not cut any more q-tips for this it's completely up to you though maybe you find it therapeutic all right and that's it and then you can go hang them on a tree or wherever you want to hang them all right well I hope this has brought you some joy and we look forward to maybe having you make some more ornaments. We've got a couple of other tutorials for you um, or more just holiday decor or whatever you want to use it for. All right. Take good care and go Hills.